If your 3D scenes are looking like this, by the end of this video you'll have your renders looking like this. You wouldn't knit a jumper every time you were a little chilly. You probably wouldn't be able to knit a very good jumper anyway, and you'd waste a ton of time in the process. Instead, you'd buy a nice warm jumper and just wear that every time you needed warming up. So why are you wasting your time creating mediocre models yourself when you have a vast range of resources at your fingertips? There are literally thousands of options available to you, and what I'm going to show you today is by far my favourite. Today I'll be using the Mechanical Creature Kit by Polyfjord to make this stunning creature. I'm using Blender 3.4 and using a GeForce 3060 Ti. I'm going to start by grabbing one of these professionally animated creature rigs. As you can see, half the work is already done for me. The best way to work on these rigs is to set them in the rest position. I like to split the properties window into two and pin the rig's properties for convenient access. Now you can simply grab from the vast array of different parts, drop them into the scene and position them exactly how you want them. The great thing about the way these parts are modelled allows really simple editing so you can quickly and easily customise the parts to your liking. And this makes it a really, really powerful tool. Once all your parts are positioned, you need to parent them to their individual bones. This can be quite laborious, but the good news is there is a completely free add-on which will parent objects to their closest bone. This tool is probably the biggest time saver for this workflow. With everything parented, you can test the animation to see how it feels, and if you're happy with what you see, then you can go ahead and add some materials to it. The most recent update to this pack has brought us a whole host of new professional grade procedural materials. Pick some materials that simply suit your style. The scene wouldn't be complete without an atmospheric environment. I've created a plane and added a dark concrete material, grabbed a spotlight with a constraint to the creature and added a stunning nebula HDRI to provide some gorgeous lighting and reflections. If you want to grab a copy of the Mechanical Creature Kit, then check out the link in the description. I've also put a link to the Bone Parenting add-on in the description, and I've put a link to the ArtStation profile of the artist who's created these stunning HDRIs. One last thing before I finish up, if you want to see more builds using the Mechanical Creature Kit, then you're going to want to check out this video here. <laughs> 